Hello, my name is Jenny. Today we are going to build our own xylophone as we complete the water glass xylophone experiment from lesson 17 of the energy science unit from the good and the beautiful. For this experiment, we need six glasses or jars, all the same size, water, food coloring, a mallet or a pencil, and a spoon. Let's line up our jars in a row. We are going to leave the first jar empty. Then we will put a little water in the next jar, a little more in the next one, and we will continue until the last jar is almost completely full. Now let's add some food coloring to each jar to make the water easier to see. All right, we're ready to play. I'm going to gently tap each jar with my mallet. I'm using a mallet, but a pencil will work just as well. What do you think will happen? Will the sounds get higher or lower as we go through the different jars? Listen closely as I play each jar. What did you notice? Do you hear how the pitch is lower when the jar has more water? The water in the jar slows down the movements of the vibrations. That's why the jar with the most water has the lowest sound. Which jar do you think has the fastest vibrations? It's our empty jar, and you can hear that as the highest pitch. Listen as I tap this jar softly. Now listen again as I tap the glass harder. Why was the sound louder the second time? When I hit it the second time, I exerted more energy, causing larger vibrations. If you try this experiment at home, you may want to experiment with different types of liquids inside your jars, like vegetable oil, tomato juice, or syrup. Then try playing a song on your xylophone.